Hi, I'm Paris. And I'm Roxana. And what are we here to do today, Roxana? We're going to do a tarot card reading. Tarot cards. Do these predict the future or what exactly do they do? Um, well, you ask a question and it, yeah, basically goes to predicts. Well, it really depends on what kind of spread you do. But basically, yeah, it talks about your past, present, future, and whatever situation you're asking about. So you can ask it specific questions. I guess so, yeah, but your question will probably change as the cards are revealed, just to warn you. Okay, then let's get started. Rainy Day Dreamers. Rainy Day Dreamers. So, we have some candles here for ambiance. Yeah. And um, tell me else, what else is going on here. Can I just show everyone briefly? We have India ink, right? Yeah. And parchment paper and a paintbrush, it looks like. And what's this? Sage. Should I put it behind my ear? <laughs> sage. This is an herb. Uh-huh. How good does it taste? Are we going to eat what? this? No. We're going to burn it. Sort of. Kind of. Basically, what we're going to do is we're kind of going to light it on fire, but only not completely. <laughs> Basically, to the point where it's like smoking. Okay. So we're going to have smoldering sage. To go and like cleanse everything. Okay. May I touch these? I know uh -huh. Some people don't yeah. like you to touch their crystals. We have uh, four crystals here. What's the story on these? So I got these because of their properties and you a lot of the stuff here like you don't typically use in this sort of thing like okay. the crystals here. The Yeah. For example. Um, but I felt like I wanted to because of what properties they have. Oh. Like um, so this the one on either end, if they're both the same, if they're both mm -hmm. bleh, both amethyst. Amethyst. They're both purple, yes. And they're both about, you Ooh, know. You can see through them. Like, That's cool. Yeah, they're super amazing. Uh-huh, okay. Um, they're both about, like, you know, wisdom and, like, protection mainly. All right. Stuff. So, you know, I thought that'd be helpful. As okay. well as, you know, the white candles and stuff. Okay. You know, um, this is, I keep forgetting the name, but it's like. Quartz? No, this is quartz. Okay, you're right. The clear crystal is quartz. Ooh, yeah. Okay, and this one, what color is that? It's like orange. Bit it's like pinkish orange. Claritine okay. or something. Okay. Some, I can't remember the exact name. It's so hard. I think that yeah. one helps when you have um, allergies. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Go ahead. <clears throat> okay. So anyways, just because of lots of properties and stuff, I thought this would be a cool thing nice. to have. Um, and so, yeah, I'm just going to place them over here. Okay. Just, you know, for them to be more out of the way, but okay. still on our, we're, by the way, we're just using a thing from our sofa. Yes. Because we don't have, like, the proper thing. Like, yeah. Okay. We, so we're just going to cleanse this and just All right. hope. Yeah. So, and then these are the cards. Have you ever used these before? Um once but not properly so this will be the first time okay that. okay well how do we start all right so first thing you need to do okay we got everything all laid out so first we need to take the sage yes and then we're gonna burn it mm. which is kind of scary part not on fire though don't make it so it's on fire make it so it's only smoking okay so just hold the flame near it and it'll smoke but it won't catch on fire all right i'm gonna do it over I the think. plate so we don't, don't get know. flaming leaves here falling oh you're gonna do like oh i thought you were gonna light a totally separate flame I don't do i have is this okay yeah yeah i'm I not just gonna transfer didn't. candle energy to the plant or something I, now this is right from our supermarket what? don't look away right from our supermarket oh, and uh, it's very green in fact i just took it out of our refrigerator it seems like we should have dried sage i don't know See there, There's it's a little starting bit of smoke, to smoke, yeah. But I don't think it's going to continue to smoke if I can't get a flame on it. Oh, we got there some smoke. There we go. There we oh, go. Oh, okay, it's working. Not just um. Okay. Can I? Go ahead. It's... Ooh, got lots of smell. Oh. That's incense smell. It smells like incense at the church. It does. Oh my gosh, I've never done this before, so this is kind of a first mm. time for me too. Is Can it you... still smoking? We no. need to refresh. Yeah. Refresh that. Okay. Don't catch it on fire. Got to catch a fire a little bit. No, All right. Oh, there we go. All right. Do your stuff. How do you do this? I've never done anything like this before. Okay. Just don't have the ashes fall and burn a yeah. hole through the 
through the arm, the sofa arm. Oh, protector. it's so strong. Am I doing this right? Look good. I have Looks no good. Idea. Okay, and we also need to do okay. the cards as well. Some more smoke then? One more, yeah. We, I hope, now have gone and cleansed stuff. Okay. So it should be okay to use. Basically, we cleansed it so that other energies and past energies are not affecting ah, the outcome okay. and stuff. So now we can... Do you want to help me with this? Sure. Yeah, take it out of the box. Normally, normal tarot cards are bigger than this, but yeah, I kind of got like the travel pack. So, hey! So, that's why I take them all out? Well. Can I touch yeah. these? Mm -hmm. That's right. You need the person whose cards are being read to handle the cards. So it imparts my energy or something to it. It's like the lumberjack. The fire starter. Okay, I won't make fun of it. Sorry! OMG. There are the cards. Okay. <clears throat> So what we got to do typically is shuffle them. So I'm going to shuffle them for a little bit and okay. then you need to shuffle them. All right. When you shuffle them, though, yes. you need to um, think about a question. Okay. Some kind of a personal question or uh, who's going to win the presidential election or what kind of question? I just, I don't know. I forgot to look that part up. But... um. I don't know, just like a question. Okay, we'll make it small scale. Does the spread that I'm going to do, there's like, they have like how to do like a standard spread in here. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to do the um, horseshoe. I think that's it, what it's called. Okay. I think it's the, no way was it? That's the, uh, if guess. my question is, am I going to get a pony for Christmas? Then the horseshoe oh, spread MG. will reveal all. Anyways, I'm going to do the, yeah, the horseshoe spread. Okay. So that, it will talk about like your situation what you can do to fix it okay based on you know how things are in society how that's affecting you and can i ask how long the room is going to smell like the smell of oh, incense i'm thinking it's not going away soon so are we going to do a reading for both of us well, i don't know how to do this to read yours can you do it for yourself uh -huh. oh okay we can do that then I have, yeah. I have touched them. I have shuffled them. Now what? Now. I, OMG. <laughs> okay. Come to me now. And we're going to go. And let me see. I'm going to do my best to remember this. Because I only saw one tutorial like three hours ago. So let's hope I remember how to do this. Okay. All right. I hope they mean the same thing. That part I don't know. But I know how to do the spread. So we're going to take the horseshoe spread right i said yes okay so we're gonna take seven cards out this is like the quickest and easiest one to do unless you want to do the standard no one. seven this is cards like 12. Is good. okay if so, i get the lumberjacks that's okay it's like i'm just gonna put them like this I guess my I'll hand bring... is shaking like crazy i have this such this weird feeling i'll bring the camera over to show the cards these are the cards roxana has pulled up for me starting on the left going to the right is there anything you can tell me offhand this card mm -hmm. represents your past this one your present this one the positive influences mm -hmm. in your life this the negative influences in your life mm -hmm. this the outer influences like um society ah. and things other people this like this starts to come down to your question but like how should you approach this problem okay like based on the negative influences mm -hmm. and this is the most likely outcome oh interesting okay so you're gonna give me my reading now mm-hmm so based on what i can tell your past was because it had it's like literally full of chalices in this fact is the past card mm -hmm. okay uh-huh don't light it on fire <laughs> Burn, burning bridges. Okay. Actually, yes. the majority of yours, I think, have chalices. And chalices um, on seven, with seven at least, means... Chalices and there's um, a number seven on the card. Okay. Vision. Your past was filled with vision. You had many oh. dreams. And based on this card, like the images on it, mm -hmm. it seems like you had dreams for many different things, many different aspirations. Okay. Okay. Good. Next is chalices six. The second one, your present, mm -hmm. is amazement. Oh. Which means, I guess, based on it right now, means that um, 
you right now are, um, you're having an amazing time in your life, bro. Like, um, you're all about, like, you know, being with other people, like, experiencing really cool other stuff with, you know, other people. Good. As far as I can tell. Next is, um... Looks like a rock star. <laughs> you you have it? Can I show everyone? Mm-hmm. It's an Ozzy Osbourne card or something like that. This is real ink. That would make a tremendous mess if it spilled. Yes. It's, by the way, very close to the top, so be careful. <sighs> okay. So I'll write my name, and then I'll write the basic things you've mentioned, and then we'll turn it around and do yours on the other side. Whoa, fancy. I'm Mr. Calligraphy. I'm writing much too large, however. Okay. You're such a good choreographer Just, today. I'm a good choreographer. I got the moves. I think you mean calligrapher. Yeah. <laughs> Watching too much glee. <laughs> okay. Is this going to dry out if I leave it open? No. Okay. It's like huge and full. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Which are so, we on now? We are on the benefits. <clears throat> like good influences in your life. Is that the third one? Uh huh. The rock star, okay. Yeah. Um, are you going to write the rock star? No. Based on what I can tell, it's the mage. What? I don't get it either. M A G E? And the knight. M A G E. The mage. So I'm just going to look at this and see if I can figure anything out. Um, what's that? There's a thingy in the middle. I think that's Sharon Osborne. O M G. <laughs> Let's have the talk. Um, so as far as I can tell, good influences. Oh, the mage. Oh, good influences on your life. The mage. Do you get What's it? What's the mage? It could be this. <laughs> it's rock music. Okay. Like, it could be spiritual beings helping you oh, out. It could be all okay. the ghost hunting. It could be this. It could be... Me helping you with all of this? That's a very imaginative ter interpretation, but good. I like it. Okay. Next is negative influences. This I'm afraid of. <laughs> this looks like oh, yeah. somebody lying there dead with a spear. Isolation. Oh. Is a negative influence right now. It's true. It's the life of a YouTuber. It's true. I can't even read that to that. OMG. I'm writing in tongues. <laughs> okay. So your societal mm -hmm. thing now? Societal yes. influences? Yes. Is guilt. Oh. Based on this. So basically based on this, as far as I can tell, mm -hmm. people are kind of stabbing you in the back. Wow. Or... Basically that, or you've done something to betray their trust or something. Mm. Don't light it on fire. I don't like this one. Burn it. Okay. Okay. You see, it's a heart with a bunch of swords sticking into it. Basically, wow. you have a lot of ties. As uh -huh. far as I can tell. I'm just reading it based off of what I think uh -huh. that means. But you have a lot of ties with other people and things. And there are people trying to nudge their way into that. Trying hmm. to make themselves the main people in your life. And mm. they may end up, like, stabbing you in the back. Wow. That's what my interpretation of that card. Okay. Okay. So, what the tarot card thinks you should do about this. Okay. What was your question, by the way? My question was um, about this idea for a new um, two-minute video thing. Yeah. Doing with my brother on another channel. Is, will that be successful? Um, I did that one. Okay. Okay. That is this card. Looks kind of like a Medusa to me. The future. Okay. This is the. You, this represents the future. No, that's what you should do about it. The you solution should rely. is the future. You should rely on what happens in the future, uh -huh. like the soon future. Um. Because this guy... Near future? Near future, you're going to have some success, as far as I can tell from this. Because look at him. He's in a throne. Uh -huh. He has a giant cup filled with golden liquid. Oh. Except the okay. only thing 
is that he looks kind of scary. Uh, but drink golden he has like too. bracelets and a crown and all fancy looking and stuff. Okay. So as far as I can tell, you're gonna have you're gonna have success, but you need to like keep watch on yourself through this success. Don't let it go to your head. Okay. Okay. And how it feels it will most likely end up. That's the last card here. Oh my gosh. Up. Sacrifice. Oh, oh my gosh. It looks like Rory, the Roman warrior who waited 2,000 years for um, a man, for uh, Amanda. No, not Amanda. What was her name again? Amy. Amy. Amelia Pond. Amelia Pond, yes. Which I'm not sure what that means, but there's a bunch of um, chalices mm -hmm. all around. And in the past, in the past cards, those have been used to bear gifts. Mm -hmm. What, now they're all empty or something? Yeah, they're all on the ground. I mean, they can be empty and stuff, but they're all on the ground and all mm. scattered about. So based on what I can tell, you're going to you're gonna have to sacrifice some of your, I don't know, something that you're close to, but you're still, based on some of them still standing up and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, you're, you're gonna still have something and you're gonna bear through it. Okay. You're gonna, you're gonna go through and you may meet success again. May. So as fortunes go with tarot cards, how is this one? Is this a particularly bad one, an average, or better than some people get? Um, <clears throat> considering this is the first one I've ever done, um, I just put you at average. But you've seen... You've seen tarot card readings on YouTube and so forth. A couple, yeah. Okay. Um, I would say that um, as long as you watch what you're doing mm -hmm. and stuff, this should end up good. Okay. Well, thank you for that. I've got all of this written in India ink on the parchment paper. Is now when I like this on fire? No! Oh, okay. OMG! <laughs> So we're going to put the cards back together, flip this over, you'll take notes, and I'm going to lay the cards out. But you have to basically do your own reading. Uh-huh. But that's okay? That's allowed? Uh-huh. Okay. It's raining at our house. Is it raining where you are? Private day to stay in and play or eat a big chocolate bar.